going on to you leos out there how y'all doing so look um there's a link in the comment section below called the link tree link click on it it will redirect you to a website which has all the ways to be able to financially support the channel um also <clears throat> please make sure to smash that like button so you uh leos have the fool the four of pentacles you have the uh queen of cups so the fool represents a brand new beginning that a lot of you leos have essentially embarked on uh a lot of you leos are not taking the same stuff that you used to and you haven't been for for a while now but you know a lot of you leos mind frame is different because what's what what makes it so good is the fact that you leos mindset is changing and and you are adapting with the times a lot of you leos are starting to realize starting to look at relationships completely differently um a lot of you are starting to look at <clears throat> excuse me relationships from a from a point of view of you're not waiting around to have to have someone tell you that they like you or be interested or you know what i mean or like you you're not going to be up underneath someone else's spell and because you're not really tripping out about hanging out with other people you're just gonna sit back and allow other people to play their own games on themselves while it is that you just sit back and just enjoy your life and you are go you go excuse me wherever it is that you are celebrated and not tolerated so in other words a person can't treat you like you know a person can't treat you like whatever you know you know all of that type of stuff is games. A lot of you Leos be seeing it. A lot of you Leos know that. So a lot of you understand that, you know, if a person, I don't know, if a person is not putting in any kind of effort, why would you want to hang around them? And the Four of Pentacles represents because you have the thing, you have things that you could be doing yourself. It's not like, you know, you don't have purpose. See, that's the thing that a lot of times people end up end up getting it twisted at it's or misconstrued is that when you make time for them see this is what i'm this is what i'm saying right so many people are caught up with trying to be narcissistic trying to act like well i'm just so busy i'm on my stuff i'm doing what i'm doing i'm i'm just so on i'm just so on point i got so much stuff going on i'm just so fly i'm so hot i'm so whatever to the point where they end up really disrespecting people who shouldn't be disrespected like no matter what ladder no matter what how high or how low you are up on the financial socio-economic ladder you should not be disrespecting anybody right you should not want to disrespect anybody you should not put more so particularly you should not go out of your way to disrespect anybody and the thing about it is is that that's exactly what it is a lot unfortunately a lot of people tend to do they end up disrespect they end up going out of their way to disrespect other people and it ends up really they basically owe tax for that because of the fact that spiritually because of the fact that you know and, it, and it's not karma but what it is 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 that it's not good moves it's not a it's not a strategic good move to make like you're, you're supposed to be making connections with people, not burning bridges, so to speak, because of the fact that you got yourself in a better position. That's not what it is that you're supposed to be doing. You feel me? So the thing about it is, is that when a person is doing that, especially when it comes to somebody who has other things to do legitimately, it makes, it makes a person look terrible because it shows why it is that they can't be in relationships, Leo. And that's the same thing that's going on with you. You Leos, a lot of people playing games with you. And it's not, it, it you know, regardless of the who or the what, it's not, you don't care because you Leos understand that you don't have to actually be around this person in the first place. Because the four of pentacles you leos legitimately have things to do of your own 
you know and and what really makes it terrible is is when you become this what really makes it terrible for for other people is when you become this the queen of cups which you have that really applies pressure to others because you know how bad it looks on another person's part when you can hit financial stride and still treat people like gold you know what i mean still treat people like go still shake hands with people and 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 you approachable you know you know how great that makes you look in comparison to where somebody you know they get a little bit of money and then they start flexing a little bit too hard they start thinking you know everybody wants something from them they start having this magical idea of oh i mean some people may want something from them but like you know they they you know what i'm saying like they automatically have this 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 persona they put on this persona of you know everybody wants something from me and i need to watch my back that's the thing that really makes them look terrible that be getting them and this is what a lot of you leos have it this ju just goes to show you leos how great or how great or how wonderful y'all can be when your mind under the condition that your mind and heart is in the correct place because it shows that you can get you can make money and not have the money make you in a sense that you can make money but still be approachable still you know what i'm saying like still be approachable still you know it's like what biggie used to say you know in the song juicy same number same hood you know in that regard not saying that you have to live in the hood but i'm saying that I'm not saying that you have to live in the hood. I'm saying that you still that same person where it's like you are not letting the money make you. And the, and then now the thing is that the Ten of Cups represents a lot of people are not going to come out here and do that. This goes to show you a lot of you Leos are seeing why a lot of people are single and they should be single for the rest of their life because they don't they 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 don't know how to make money and treat people with respect still they feel like you you know they they you know what i'm saying like they feel like they have to fit the mold of well once you start me making a certain amount of money you got to distance yourself from people and it's like yeah you do have to protect yourself to a certain extent but at the same time that's why it is that you need to keep your head on your shoulders. So now when you Leos are interacting with other people, they start moving like that. This is this is the stupidity of it. This is this Ten of Cups and the Queen of Wands really shows the stupidity of it. It really does. Because the Ten of Cups represents how it is that you Leos will approach people on some regular stuff, right? No kind of disrespect. In, involved or any of that type of stuff and like here, here they are ruining it because of the fact that they because of because a lot of people are socially awkward so now a lot of you leos are like doesn't matter how much money you make you still treat you still your track record is still good because you have you're not developing a reputation for as soon as you start making some money now you start treating people like garbage you know, doesn't it doesn't matter how much money I make. Like I, you know what I'm saying? Like I step outside of my I step outside of my apartment, you know, in New York, looking however it is that I want to look. You know what I mean? Way better than how it is that I used to look before. I still treat people like, you know what I'm saying, with respect. And I, if I if I if I know them and I still say what up. If I know them, if I don't if I don't have any kind of beef. And 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 if I don't say what's up to them, it's because I told them today face that I don't rock with them. So it's not like I'm playing the game of of this. But that's my point, though. So a lot of you Leos are able to to see the same thing. That's my point, right? That's my point. You know, the Queen of Wands represents how it's not about trying to act like you better than somebody. It's about you Leos understanding that you know you really do. You really do just want to make a, a, a profound connection with somebody. You know, the person can't be someone that is lazy, right? But this is what I'm talking about. These are all, these are all, this all speaks to a person's character, 
like a, this is why it is that I say that, that you always want to go after a person's character because a person's character will show you who they are, Leo, beyond the money because it's a catch-22 either way because the reason why is because this is what the Queen of Wands represents. Sometimes a person will have the money and they'll be a trash individual based upon their means, they're cruel, they're disrespectful, they, you know, they start to treat people around them like trash because they because they have a suspicion that everybody around them just wants them for their money anyway. So they're like, what do I care for? Because you're just here for the money. You know, if you were to ever really get a big payday out of me, you would go missing and start switching up. So they start trying to be disrespectful. Not only that, but it's also catch 22 because you know people who don't make a whole lot of money who still acts like a lamb bone. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> you know what I mean? Who still, so it's like, it's like they, they still are, are disrespectful anyway. So a lot of you Leos know that. So you're looking for a person's character and the page of, of uh, Pentacles is about how you're showing your character, right? Because you Leos are coming out with something brand new. A lot of you are on a brand new kick in a sense that your mentality is evolving. Your mentality for the better. Your mentality is changing and evolving for the better, Leos. A lot of you Leos have a brand new mentality where, you know, you you don't care about relationships. That's ultimately where it is that you're supposed to go. You don't care about relationships. This is what this is what quote unquote black pill is about, ultimately, is to not care about relationships. Not saying that you're not necessarily willing to get in them, but knowing but but judging relationships or the potential relationships that you can get into based upon the actual essence of it. So instead of it so instead of it looking so instead of you Leo's looking at it from a perspective of how just how beautiful the person is, you're really paying attention more so for their character because short term is for short term, a person's looks gets you short term. A person's character gets you long term. You, you understand what I'm saying? A person's, let me say that again. A person's looks is short term. A person's character is long term because you have people who treat you like, who can treat anyone like trash whether they have money or they don't. Then you have people who can treat you with respect, whether they have money or they don't. And, and you trying to find someone that, that, ha that has respect because it's a part of their character. It doesn't, you know what I'm saying? Like I have home training, I have home training. I learned how to say, please, excuse me, thank you. Stuff like this as a child coming up, you know, and I still say things like, please excuse me. Thank you. I may not necessarily say it all the time, which I am learning to, to learn to use it more. Actually, go back to that, to go back to that good nature, that virtue that I had, right? But um, that's something that I learned when I was a child. You have people who are adults who don't know stuff like this and they don't even see the importance of it. The importance of it is to remind yourself of who you are and to not let the ego get inflated. So the ace of the ace of cups and the queen of swords now is but it's but this is good because this is just about how you Leo's really are someone brand new in a in a good way in the sense that once again, you don't care about trying to get into relationships. See, that's the next frontier. That's the next genus, the next difficulty. The next level to this is to stop caring about whether or not you get yourself into a relationship because people who play games, they use that to their advantage. They take advantage of that. They want, they want you to care about being in a relationship so they 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 play on that right they they play on that but when you but this is what i'm i'm talking about in this reading right which got a lot of which will get a lot of people caught up and this will fit right into your game which is no game at all 
this is again this is what bruce lee was talking about i'm talking about the principle this is what bruce lee was talking about when he said the the, the um when he said that um basically he was saying that he doesn't understand he basically he's saying that there there is no form of martial arts the ultimate form of martial arts is to have no form whatsoever it's to just adapt to the situation and learn and learn to overcome whatever situation that you're in and and actually come out the winner of it basically the best that you can right but the best way to do that is to prepare yourself for whatever given situation and then you 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 adapt to the situation you know live in real time right as it's happening the point that i'm trying to make here with that with you leos is that that's exactly what it is that you got going on you leos now have to understand that the highest form of relationships is to not care about whether or not you get yourself into a relationship because people are out here playing games like i said before and most are not really, I would say about half to most are not really ready to really be in a relationship. And I've been saying this for years, you know, it was brought to my attention the other day that somebody, I'm not going to say who they are, but they're a subscriber of mine. They was talking about how it is that, you know, um, they, you know, they was talking about how it is that, uh, um freaking i've been saying this for years like yeah most people are not they're still like that was you know what i'm saying like that was like a couple of years ago people are still not ready to be in it people are still playing games and this is why it is that in the roman empire you know what i'm saying like like the majority of people would not reproduce it's because so many people are are thinking about relationships transactionally like they're so dumb they're thinking of things transactionally and it's like you can't think of stuff transactionally a relationship is not supposed to be thought of transactionally in other words they're thinking about how they can use you so then now the page of swords and the six of of uh wands is about how it's not going to work though it's not going to work on you leos it never does because you Leos, you know, y'all are fire signs. So y'all already have that hot sauce. And what I mean by that is y'all are already initially frustrated, right? You have to get to a point of frustration before you can decide that you're not going to take this crap anymore, right? And that's the one thing about fire signs that fire signs do have an abundance of. They Fire signs do, you are frustrated because things shouldn't be so difficult. And a lot of you wish that certain things was, di was this, right? Ideal situation, but it's not. You have people taking advantage of other people out here. You got people who don't want to pay for dates. They're half of the date, even though that they are, they are an adult. They don't want to pay for their half of the date. But then they, but then they talking about how it is that, but if you want them to hang out with you, more a second day than more you're gonna have to pay for them but then ultimately but see this is the stupidity of it because ultimately they're just using you in the first place because the statistic the statistics is already out over 50 more than 50 percent I, I don't even want to lie about 60 to 80 percent don't quote me on that number but i know it's more than half about 60 to 80 percent of all first dates the person is using the other person as a means of a free meal. Go and look it up. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, so it's like, what what kind of a catch twenty two is that? You don't want to you you catch such horrors off of. You get so bent out of shape. Your panties are in such a bunch. When and that goes for both sides, regardless of whatever you're into, right? But it goes to show you, Leos, how weird the landscape is, how awkward it is. Like, what kind of what kind of an interaction is that, right? The ideology, the the you, what kind of transactional interaction is that? They want you to pay for the first date, but then, at, at, which is inviting you to their pockets, because I don't know what kind of an adult wants to be a burden on another adult. 
don't provide anything. They just want to eat off of your dime, which is awkward, but you know, everybody's making so much money, quote unquote, but um, they want to eat off of, off, off of your dime and your time. But, and if you don't, and if you don't let them do that, you're not necessarily going to get a second date. But that's the catch 22 about the whole thing. You re you wasn't going to get a second date anyway. Because the majority of the people that go out on these first dates go out on these first dates because they hungry and they just trying to get a meal. So, so what is up with all this shaming and fronting and stunting for? Like let's clarify the 6 of wands. Like I don't I don't Two of Pentacles, Three of Cups, uh, Queen of Wands, the Hierophant, and then the Hangman. Uh, so the Two of Pentacles and the Three of Cups is about you, Leos, ultimately having to understand that, yes, you're right. Relationships should be reciprocal. But at the same time, I also want you, Leos, to know that you're going to have a lot of people trying to reconciliate or reconcile with you trying to make things better come back in because of the fact that these would be people who will see that the grass is not greener and that their ego got them and once again the dating the dating pool has changed forever and certain people really don't understand that the dating pool has changed forever they're gonna have to like they're gonna have to actually grow up they don't have a choice they're gonna ha they do if they don't you know their arm is kind of twisted is what I'm trying to say. Like they do, you know, their choices, they don't have to do that, but they're going to stay by themselves and they're not going to be taken seriously, you know, in, in that sense, you know, you know, or they can, or they can stop getting on like they got a mental problem. <laughs> okay. And learn how to contribute and stop feeling like, you know, the queen of wands now is about how it is that, uh, uh, and <clears throat> this is something that a lot of those people are going to fight tooth and nail against. But the Hierophant, when it comes to you, but the Hierophant and the Hanged Man is about how ultimately it's going to come to the same precipice in the sense that people are going to have to grow up when it comes to you, Leos, because I don't see you, Leos, really giving them too much of a, of a, too much time to really waste your time in the first place 